Hey everyone, welcome to the final part of uh, the Lumo Old School Days Trophy. Congratulations if you got this far. This trophy is a pain in the butt. Definitely separates the men from the boys. Or the men that go really slow so they don't want to die. That would be me. All right, so I like staying in this corner. And doing that. And I like moving away from that corner. Because of that one. Just in case. Less time to react. Ugh, another room I'm not a fan of. So I take my time. Yeesh. Yeesh. The amount of times that I just jumped off here and hoped for the best. Not just once. This is uh, actually one of the easier parts in the game, as long as you keep moving. It's really only this initial part where you have a chance of dying, if you don't move right away. Uh, you know what, I'm actually going to go with this a little bit safer, so I can get a bit of a head start in the next area. Or to the next, uh, point. You're just as far as you want to be. There we go.
Okay, that's one of the four rooms in this place done. On to number two. Not the worst thing either. Uh -huh. Not a whole lot of spellbook pages that are left that you can get extra lives from though. Not a whole lot. So, you're not supposed to go on that, but I end up doing that anyway. Just because I landed on it. Whoopsie. Uh, I'm gonna grab this. I don't remember if I need it or not, but you might. Uh, I'm just gonna keep resetting the room. Come at me, bro. I said, come at me, bro. One down. Again, I'm gonna keep resetting the room so I have less to deal with. You're free to go for that far corner right away. But I choose to take it safe. chill for a little bit here. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Alright. Just 
taking my time. Again, same logic. Reset the room, less to deal with. Jump, jump, jump. Double time. Rush it. Immediately rush it. Gain some air. Get out of here. Get some air from this guy. Keep it going. And get past this part with no trouble. No! Ah, uh, shoot. Well, okay, watch this one. This one will be better. No, I don't want to do this one. <laughs> do not like where my bubble ended up. Oh, just put me down, put me down, put me down. Let's try that again. Okay, rise up a little bit. Get out of here. There we go. That's better. That's much better. So watch that one. Don't pay attention to the screw up. That's how not to get the Buff and Bob truck in. You gotta do that on your first time. I also don't like this part. La 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 la. There's a lot of parts in this game that I'm not a fan of. <laughs> this might be one of them too. By not a fan of, that means I just die and suck. But uh, here's another extra life you want to collect. Chill for a second here and wait for that flame wall. This is one of the nice things about this control is that if you jump, then you're not going to move anywhere. Ah, uh, this part I just don't like. Closer. Not for it. So yeah, I'm gonna take my time. I'm just gonna straight up take my time. Uh, like, what is the method to the madness? Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. That sounds good. I really don't know how to do this room without dying. So I'm just going to die. Uh, do I want to try doing this room without dying? Nah, no, whatever, it's real. <laughs> you know, if someone can tell me how to do that room, that would be swell. So you want to take that, what I kind of outlined before, over here. And the main reason being that recharge, and you get dropped back before all that fire guiding junky stuff. That's not fun. La 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 la. Get away. Oh, what am I doing? Alright, so don't do that. Oh my god, I'm just gonna reset the room. There we go. Six lives, two sections left. Yuck, 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 yuck.
is actually my least favorite area, the one we're coming in right now, just because of one room, that's it. For some reason, I'm just not good at that room. And you'll know which one it is, because it'll be the one I die a bunch at. Alright, well that went well. This room also sucks, the one we're about to go into. Yep, it sucks. It sucks. Oh, I thought I would get that. I didn't. Alright. That's fine. Ah, uh, so... There are guides saying that uh, you can stay in the middle, and it's fine. I just don't like staying in the middle. You can kind of line up your shadow well beforehand, so you won't have any issues going through any of these areas. And it finishes off with that huge square in the middle, so more than fine. So if you weren't uh, like starting to get stressed a little bit at this point, then uh, you are good under pressure, and good for you. Just getting pretty close to the end of the game already. This is my bane of existence. <laughs> Alright. Different strategy here. Oh, oh god. You have no idea how happy I am to have gotten through that. And I squeaked <laughs> through that one. But yeah, that, uh, that spike room, I'm uh, terrible at. That's actually the best run I've had at it. Uh. The one where I actually got this trophy already, I died twice there. Sweet, sweet. Come at me, bro. Ugh. There we go. Though, like, each room isn't really stressful, just because you have limited lives, each live makes it difference. Oh my god. Alright, well that that's not a big deal. behind speed record pace right now, but you know what? I have lives.
I also don't like this part. Yeah. another arcade room through that door on the top right that you can see right now, but no need for that. Jump here. Okay, we're down to one room, which is uh, comforting. Most of that spike room is over, and that, I just hate it. I hate it. It can go die. That's kind of what I'm waiting here for. There we go. So you need to hit that switch so the lights go off so you can actually cross. So I didn't just jump there for no reason. Oh, okay, not a fan of this, are there? You know, I just don't like those green, spinny, spiky guys. But I did forget about that extra life, so that's a nice bonus. Don't need to go on the chain here. Ah! Ah! Wow, speaking of extra lives, that was used up right away. Alright, let's get out of here. Dead my weight box. No, I'm just gonna grab this while I'm here. Calm down for a second. Yada yada yada. Okay. No. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Alright. One life left. I should have did that 
just friggin' ages ago. But, I <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Alright, I don't have a lot of room for the way now since I burnt four lives in one room. Easy come, easy go. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. This is also another room I'm not a fan of. Ah, you know what? Let's reset that. Dun, 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 dun. I think I'm just shaking up a little bit now as well after the four life fail. Should have been fairly easy. Well, let's just get through the run. Right. These ones you don't have to trigger. Once you trigger them, they'll go by themselves. Uh, Oh, there we go. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just talking nonsense. If I fell, I would be so sad. Each jump is like super scary now just because it is the last section and it's the last number you need to unlock in that main room. As you can tell it's just like, you know, sketchy, sketchy uh, pressure on sort of vibe going on. Oh jeez, oh, this has been a while. Uh, this one goes all the way, I think. Alright. And we're pushing this one down. Pushing this up. Pushing this across. Do that room normally, and it's just fine. But uh, like you used up all your life powering up that thing in the previous room, so you know you're not gonna have any of that. I'm gonna get some extra ones stuff there, just because I've died in that room before in old school mode, and I've done the same thing. I just went and got light, just because there is another path that you can take here, and I'm not leaving anything to chance. Especially since this is really the last room you can die right here is this spiked box. Which again, I have died on in old school mode. Granted I had some extra lives available so it wasn't a big deal. But uh, anything can happen, take it slow, especially in this part if you have only one life. So now it's just uh, time to finish this run off. What a very bumpy ride that was. So I hope this helps. Do not make the same mistakes as myself, and you will find yourself with a lot more lives kicking around at the end. And your gold trophy. And what's probably the last one you need to actually get. So yeah, this trophy was bumpy. This trophy was not ideal. Or, uh, you know, dying's never ideal. 
think I paused for like a minute just to kind of chill for a bit. But uh, I noticed there was a lack of videos for uh, old school days, and by lack of videos I mean there was none. So I kind of want to give my spin on it on collecting its public pages as well as incorporating as much of the speedrun as possible. So, shout out to uh, Daniel Christensen's video. So I used his speedrun to kind of guide, and then uh, I just kind of went off track of it a little bit to get as much, uh, or as many extra lives as possible. So you can see, uh, if I had done this speedrun style, and uh, didn't collect all those extra lives, that would have been done probably in the snow world still. So, I feel like it's kind of necessary, but uh, for those guys that are really good at this game, like himself, then uh, you might not need it. But, like I said, hope this helps. Hopefully, it's your last trophy and you can kind of put this game aside, or uh, maybe attempt to speedrun it and compete for world record. Uh, as always, it's up to you. If you like this video, um, you know, please leave me a thumbs up. Uh, any comments on how can I improve it, such as not dying. And uh, if you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Kind of going through a bunch of indie games right now and uh, trying to fill the gap where there aren't any videos. That's kind of what my channel's goal is. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.